why I don't do back of the napkin valuations. Hi everybody, my name is Josh Horn, CPA of Horn Valuation, and I do valuation of private companies in divorce litigation and exit planning. And have you thought about getting your business valued? Has the idea of doing it, in essence, on the back of the napkin, has that come up? Have you heard that term before? I don't do this. And there's a few reasons why. I do have an option to step down my full report to a calculation report, which is a report where you and I would agree to do certain things. And basically, a lot of things I would not do, including a site visit and a full industry analysis and an economic analysis and a full written report. Those things I would not do. And I would tell you that up front. However, I am not willing to step down my reports to a level at which I'm not giving you any value. Pardon the pun. And there's a couple of reasons why. I still do a very robust financial analysis and compare your ratios to other businesses in your industry. And the reason why is because that's what I think you're actually paying for is my judgment and my ability to compare you and see where you're at. So ethically, even though I could technically do a back of the napkin valuation, I choose not to because I find that if you're paying for my judgment but I'm giving you a rule of thumb, then I can't do that. I'm not comfortable with that. And that's not what you're getting. If you want a rule of thumb, I will give you that for free. And I often do that. I give people the information from, say, the business reference guide or something like that with the caveat that you are on your own, of course. So judgment, that's why I don't do it. Number two reason, I often find that after the analysis that I do at a financial level, my initial gut instinct on what I see initially about the business may not be the same as where I end up. So I may end up in a different place after the analysis than when I started. So the first pass through, in my experience, it's very dangerous to use that as your ultimate value of any kind of business, especially with the businesses that I value where the accounting and the bookkeeping can be a little bit shaky or we just need to translate the accounting that you have into valuation world, so to speak. And the final reason is the stakes are just too high. In the cases of the companies that I value, they're usually a few hundred thousand dollars up to a few million dollars. And when we're talking about debt and bank loans and family assets and risk to multiple parties, I just simply don't feel like I can do a good job for you. There's too much risk for you. And in, in the case of uh, advisors that I'm helping, attorneys, uh, litigation situations, there's too much at risk to do something that is such a low level that I don't do any level of financial analysis. You're free to choose the type of report you want out there. Just be careful. Be careful back of the napkin valuations because ultimately I think what you want is some good judgment, even if it's a step-down report. This is Josh Horn, CPA of Horn Valuation. Have a great day. Bye.